Mohammad Khazayi had already done a day's work by lunchtime on Thursday. Iran's ambassador to the United Nations serves as the chair of the coordinating bureau of the 120 nation non aligned movement. It was in that capacity that he and other NAM delegates met with Secretary General Ban Ki moon and the UN Security Council president on Israeli crimes against Palestinians. They called for the UN to do more to pressure Israel into abiding by international law. From a regime that has been uh, created by pressure uh, and taking the uh, lands of people and prisoners uh, and also killing people, you cannot accept more than this. Uh, that, that's a problem. That's a problem that uh, we need more action to take place by the United Nations Security Council against the Israeli's crimes against the humanity as well as Palestinians. The UN Human Rights Council has issued several reports condemning illegal Israeli settlement building and occupied lands, as well as the lack of due process for the thousands of Palestinian prisoners in Israeli jails. For the most part, Israel tends to ignore such reports, even when action is called for by the UN Secretary General. Khazayi couldn't linger, however. There was much more work to be done. His presence as Iranian ambassador was called for just steps away at the UN's North Lawn Building, where final consultations on an international arms trade treaty were underway. The arms trade treaty talks have been going on for years, and while most nations agree that regulation of the world's arms trade is needed, details keep getting in the way. In his statement, Khazayi said that there were simply too many key issues left out, such as drones, and he added that flaws and loopholes leave the text susceptible to politicization, manipulation, and discrimination. The simple issue of a nation's right to acquire conventional weapons to defend itself, he said, was sadly not addressed. In the end, though many member states were said to be unhappy happy with the text, it was Hazai who voted against the draft treaty along with Syria and North Korea. Many countries, either those uh, who blocked uh, uh, the text or those who are not satisfied, which are more than uh, maybe about 100 countries, they believe that uh, the text before us today was not comprehensive and uh, was not uh, assisting uh, international community to come up with a good treaty. Khazayi added in his statement that special language had been added in the text to protect U.S. individuals' right to own weapons to satisfy U.S. special interests, even when law groups have said the treaty wouldn't have any impact on individual ownership. The text, as is, is said to be headed to the U.N. General Assembly for a vote, where member states' opinions of it will likely be much more clear. Hank Flynn, Press TV, New York.